Hey girl, hey, it's Treasure and welcome back to my mother freaking channel. In today's video, I will be doing a what's on my iPhone. I got the iPhone port... <laughs> I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max for Christmas. I don't want to talk too much, so let's just go ahead and get into this video. So first things first, I have my home screen. I took this picture like a few months ago and I just thought it was pretty. So yeah, it's my home screen. I have other home screens too. Like I have my dog, Reese. I love my dog, me. But I feel like I use this picture for everything. So right now, I just have it on the sunset. At the top, it has my battery percentage. The temperature right now is 32 degrees outside, y'all. It's cold. And then it has another battery percentage, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so once you unlock my phone, the first page, I have two widgets. The one at the top just says the date. And then I do have my battery percentage at the bottom too, just so I know. This page is for like stuff that came with the phone that I use but don't really use like it's necessary but it's not necessary you know so on this page I have my settings my camera let's take a picture you got my camera um I got FaceTime the clock <laughs> Ethan went through and deleted all my alarm clocks because at first I literally had pages like I could scroll for days on my alarm clocks because I never delete my alarm. I have Google Maps because I hate Apple Maps. I do not like using Apple Maps. I have the App Store, Calendar, Mail, Photos, Google Photos. If you don't have Google Photos, you need to download that right now. Right now. Because I literally have photos in here since 2015. This is a picture of me and myself. Actually, this is 2011. I have photos since 2011 in here. I've literally went through like three phones. And Google Photos have saved all my videos, all my pictures. They saved, this ain't even sponsored, y'all. So I think it has way more storage than the iCloud backup. So I always use Google Photos instead. And then I have the calculator, always comes in clutch. I have the weather app. What's the weather today? Ooh, look at the little background. It's all pretty and stuff. Okay. Right now it's 32 degrees. It's gonna be a little cloudy today, but it's sunny. So yeah, that's pretty much all on the first screen. It's nothing special. On the second page, I have a picture of me and Ethan in LA for my 18th birthday. The four apps at the top are all like my bank type of stuff. I have Republic Bank. I have eTeller, which is like my credit union bank. I have Cash App and I have Venmo. Y'all probably know what all those things are. The third row, I have all my YouTube and editing things. So I have YouTube, obviously. I watch that religiously. I have YouTube Studio, which is basically an app for creators to see like their analytics and their subscriber count, their views, everything. I'm pretty sure everybody that makes YouTube videos has this app. And then I have a folder for all my editing. Fonto is what I use for making thumbnails. Yeah, basically this is the thumbnail I was thinking about using, but I ended up going with the other one. And then PixArt, eh. I mean, I use it sometimes, but I don't really use it. Basically though, I use it to make collages before I put it into the Fonto app. Moises, Muses, I don't know how to say it. Y'all know YouTube don't play about the copyright. So, if you want to edit your video and like have music in it but without getting copyright, import your songs into this app. It lets you adjust certain things in the music to where it still sounds the same but you won't get copyright. Okay? Comes in clutch. Like my drive with me, I use that and I literally have songs in there and it's fine. The Camera Connect app. I haven't used this app but I've seen other people have it and it's basically to have the videos from my camera go on my phone or like my iPad. I don't use it because the quality isn't as good as it could be. Like it's not top tier and I need top tier, you know? So I import the videos from my camera to my MacBook and then I airdrop it to my phone. I know that's doing a lot, but I feel like when I airdrop it, it's better quality than just using this app. Then I have Canva. Canva is so good. I use Canva for everything. When I want to make flyers. Oh, you can make thumbnails on Canva too. Yeah, you can do a lot with Canva. Okay, yeah, the last time I used Canva was to make my vision board. And look, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> then I have CapCut. A lot of TikTokers use CapCut to like make little mini vlogs. Or some people even edit on CapCut. I have made one TikTok video on CapCut. I made a little travel vlog for TikTok and I edited it on CapCut. iMovie has the basics, but it's not like 
as advanced as other editors so I don't really use it but I do use it if I need to make like rough cuts where my dog at oh she's at the door <laughs> she's sniffing out of the door I'm like what the heck okay so Velo or V L L O that's the app I use to edit this app I love it like love it um let's see these are my videos see like it's so much stuff you can do in this app I love it this is my drive with me so if you haven't watched that go watch it <laughs> literally been editing with that since I started YouTube it's so good <laughs> okay then we have Instagram. Y'all all know what Instagram is. I promise y'all my life ain't that exciting. But go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. A little self plug right there. <laughs> One of my goals this year is to take more pictures. So I might be posting more. Who knows. This row is like the apps that I use the most. So then I have Wattpad. I love me some Wattpad. I used to have the app a long time ago. And I used to read all the time on it. But then I stopped for like a couple years. And I just re-downloaded it a couple months ago. And I've been reading ever since. Y'all, I have a whole reading list of everything. Like, I do not play. Okay, I don't know if I should show y'all that. But, yes, I love Wattpad. It's like basically online books that are not like officially published. But they're just people that create. Hold on, my dog wants to come inside. So, Pinterest is what I use to like find inspiration. I create a lot of boards. Like, I have her style saved on here. My future house. I have outfit inspiration. Got food pictures. I got everything, okay? Oh, this is my username in case any of y'all want it. So, yeah, that. And then TikTok. Pretty sure everybody knows what TikTok is. Most of the apps down here are for like my job. I have the Walmart app, the me at Walmart app. Basically, it's where I find my like schedule, clock in, clock out app. And then I have the even app, which is basically just tells me how much money I'll be getting in my paycheck. And it's like a mini savings account because you can save like a percentage of your check and just keep it in the app until you're ready to use it. And then I have the notes app. Literally, I'm always on the notes app. Everything is in my notes. The widget that I have right here is a picture I took in New York and I just love it. Like Times Square. It's just the vibe. Okay. So then the last page, the first two rows is basically me spending money. I only come to this page if I really want to spend money. So first things first, Amazon. You can never go wrong with Amazon. Literally everything is on Amazon and I just love it because of the fast shipping. And then I have Sheen. Right now I've been on Sheen a lot because I'm trying to find birthday outfits. <laughs> my birthday is literally in like, my birthday's in 20 days. Yeah. And then I have Grubhub. I don't really use Grubhub unless I'm at school on campus. Our student meal swipes are connected to Grubhub. So if I want to order something for free delivery and just use my school credit, I can. Or if I want to order ahead of time and pick it up on campus, it lets me do that. Then the sneakers app, I don't really use it, but Ethan told me to download it. It just basically tells you all the upcoming shoes that they're about to release and it'll send you a notification when i think 10 minutes before they release the shoe so you can try to hurry up and get on the app and buy it at a decent price the the shoes coming up aren't that cute so i haven't really been on the app then i have fashion nova i don't really shop on fashion nova right now because they're a little bit out of my budget <laughs> i only shop on there if there's like a main piece that i need a birthday dress i would get it for fashion nova they have some cute graphic tees though that that is the graphic tees that i have in my cart right now ice cube tupac aaliyah but most of them are sold out right now so <laughs> i have to wait to buy it okay and then i have the chick-fil-a app because i'm always at chick-fil-a i have the airbnb app for when i go out of town i need to like book somewhere to stay and then the zillow app I don't know if it's just me, but I love looking at apartments and knowing good and well I'm not going to move into an apartment right now. I be looking at apartments in different states, different cities, just for the fun of it. And then I have another widget. I think this was in LA too. Yeah, I took this picture in LA. It's the vibes, okay? Basically, all my widgets are like travel pictures. It just inspires me. Okay, then I have Facebook. I don't really get on Facebook, which is why it's on this screen. I just get on it when I'm like absolutely bored. I have nothing else to do with my life. Then I will get on Facebook. <laughs> then I have Duolingo because my goal this year is to learn 
Spanish. I need to learn Spanish. I be feeling so left out when everybody around me speaking Spanish and English. Like, I be wanting to know what they saying so bad. Like, I be like, girl, what are you talking about? I just find it so cool how people can be speaking English and then they mix Spanish words into their English. I like, I love that. It's so cute. So, I do need to learn that. I also want to learn ASL. I know a little bit of ASL. I'm going to try to learn that this year too. And then I have two folders under those. The first folder is literally just apps that are on the phone that I don't use. But I think I can't delete them. So they're just here. And then the next one is, it's like a TV folder. I'm sorry, my dog is in the background. Say hi, Reese. Um, yeah. I don't watch regular TV, but I love me some netflix i have netflix hulu zeus disney plus hbo max i have it all <laughs> right now i've been watching netflix the most because jenny and georgia just came out season two just came out yesterday <laughs> your girl been watching it all day and i've been watching wednesday too y'all should comment some other tv shows for me to watch because i be i be needing some shows i be needing something to watch um and then after that i have like two games i have pubg I love me some PUBG. Me and Ethan, we always play PUBG together. It's basically like Call of Duty or like Fortnite. The only bad thing is it takes up a lot of storage on your phone. Be aware. <laughs> I have Cooking Madness because Ethan's nephew, his phone died and I felt bad. So I let him download the game on my phone. And I literally been playing it ever since. It's a little kid's game, but I like it. Y'all know those Papa's Burgers games that you used to play when you were a little kid? It's basically like that. Like you make burgers and steak and tacos and then caregiver and sitter city is basically like babysitting apps so if you want to be a babysitter or you want to find like a family that needs their, their dogs walked you can find like little mini jobs on these apps i just downloaded these apps on my phone but i do already have one job from caregivers like this girl she has six show dogs and she just pays me to bathe her dogs or like take them out on a walk so yeah that's that pretty much it on my phone i forgot to tell y'all at the bottom i have the phone app i have safari my messages and then i have this app called musi it's basically an app for all my music i don't use apple music i don't use soundcloud i use this because it's free f-r-e-e -E. it's free all my music is on here it's crazy i have 987 songs it's basically youtube without the ads so anything on youtube you can add it to your music playlist no ads i mean it has like little ads but it's not like youtube ads yeah it's where i get all my free music okay so that's the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it please like comment share and subscribe if you want to see more of me and make sure y'all follow me on instagram bye